recording begin? Okay. What is up, guys? So I had this great idea of being able to use my clips to do a little bit of a tutorial for the backboard dunk because what was holding me back from making a tutorial was because I was thinking I'd have to go out and actually be in the field on the court, do the dunks, and as I'm doing it, explain it because I figured that would be the best way. But I'm like, why can't I just take some clips and kind of analyze them? So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to have a screen recording going, so I'll do that now. I'm not good at this. Okay, so this is my first like screen recording slash vlogging thing, so I'm going to bear with me, but I think it's going to be really helpful. So it's weird because I'm talking here, but it's right here and you're seeing the same thing, so you're seeing what I'm seeing. Okay, um, so basically what I have here is just a few different clips I took of myself. Um, and just to start off with the backboard dunk, I really think it is all about placement and timing. Timing is probably number one. Uh, I probably could have gotten a backboard dunk before I've gotten other dunks, specifically the windmill. And I really think if you can do a basic dunk at all, you can probably get a backboard dunk as your next dunk or even as if you can do any dunk. Meaning if you can do a lob dunk where you just catch and put it in or if someone throws it up or even a dribble dunk. I think you can get a backboard dunk simply for the fact that if you throw it right and the right timing, it's basically putting it in the same spot as if you were doing a dribble dunk or a lob dunk. So if this is the rim, you, you could throw it off the backboard lightly and it's all about timing. So the timing's the hardest part. It's hard to throw the ball the right speed and right things. I'm gonna get into that a little bit. But if you throw with the right uh, amount of power, comes off the backboard at the right angle and you time it right, it'll come like right here and all you do is catch it and put it in. Just like a lob when it bounces, it'll put it right there. So that's kind of what I want to explain. And for me, I went straight to a windmill just because that was my goal. I never really thought of backboard dunks and just was more amped to get a windmill. And that's why my backboard dunks, I don't even have too many examples of me doing basic ones, but I do have some examples of me doing some light backboard dunks during my warm ups, just because they're, they keep me jumping correctly. But yeah, so a lot of mine came after I had enough height to do a windmill. So that's why I'm able to throw it off the backboard and kind of have some extension. But I'll try to get into all that and just try to get you your first backboard dunk. So hopefully that's helpful. So if we come look at the very first clip, this is your boy throwing a light one. So let's just play the clip really quick. This is like warming up for a dunk. Of course, my computer's lagging when I'm trying to do screen capture, so let's see if I can help that out at all. So if you take a look at this, I'm throwing it, I'm very close to the rim, but I'm just warming up and I'm just taking a few steps and I throw it kind of on a higher angle, which you see later I th throw more of a line drive. So the higher angle, it's not gonna come off the backboard as fast, which is gonna keep it closer to the rim, which is easier just to catch and dunk. So for this warm up, as you see, it's just off the backboard, I catch it, and I don't have that much extension, it's pretty straight, and I miss, but you get the point. I think this is 10-2, by the way, just to make, my, make me look better. Maybe it's not actually, I don't remember. But anyway, the point is, it's a very basic one. It comes off the backboard almost if it's a lob. Like if I showed you this pat right here, you can't tell if I went off the dribble, off the lob. You can't really tell, that's the point, if you catch it right there. I didn't even do the easiest backboard you can do, I threw it and it's, I, it was coming down. It's like almost under the rim and I have to bring it up a little bit. So if I were to uh, time it a little bit better, jump a little sooner, I would have been able to catch it above the rim and then probably dunk this one. But I had to bring it up and that took a little bit of my vertical away. So that's why I missed this dunk, if that makes sense. Now, just to look at the timing, which we'll go through as a progression through the rest of the clips, I'm throwing it and right as it's touching glass, like almost before, I'm already gathering. If you see my gather, my foot's already coming onto the ground. That penultimate step right there should be a lot, a little longer, let me show you. So this step right here is the penultimate step. And when I get full speed, when it's not warm up, that step is huge and that's kind of, I'm already in that gather before it even hits the glass most of the time. So I'm jumping as it's coming off. So when it's coming off the glass, I'm already going up and I'm, it's coming off this way as I'm already in the air. So that way I'm catching it and we'll see that later in clips. But basically, as you see, I'm already, I'm, on, I'm not on my way up yet, but that's what kind of threw this one off a little bit. See, if I would have jumped a little sooner, I might have been able to, but my timing's not as good with the low tosses. I got really used to throwing it hard and having it come off fast. So I have to jump like super fast. Okay, so let's go to the next one. I think it's another light one. 
same thing, a little low, a little more extension, a little bit, but same type of deal. If I would have, it's hard with the slow toss and the slow approach, but if I would have jumped a little sooner, I could have caught it right there and just put it right in. So that's the tricky part is when you throw a light toss, you want you can't throw it from far because it's hard to throw a light toss from far because it's going to come off with a lot more force. But if I were to able to jump or throw it a little softer, you can throw it really close to the rim and just put it in. And I think I have another light one here. Okay, so now another light one. Just try to play it and see if it lags. Super light, but I was also warming up and it was a little slippery this day. This video is one of my latest ones I posted, I think two videos ago, maybe three, I forget. But I'm th as you see, I'm kinda, I kind of have a little rhythm too. I kind of always pick it up around the elbow, left hand. I don't really focus on left hand, but I kind of get a good toss and I always throw it with my right. So kind of throw it across my body and then gather right as it comes off the glass and I'm jumping as it. And just like the last one, if I jumped a little sooner or I threw it a little higher, it, I could have caught it earlier and then just put it right in. But this one, I'm kind of having to bring it back a little bit, bring it up and in. And I was jumping a little better this day, so it was a little easier. But the timing is not optimal. But my point of this one is when I'm doing it light and I'm not throwing crazy extension, you could see there's a little more of an arc on the toss. That's so it's not coming off so far from the rim. So I don't have any good examples of me throwing a really light toss just because I think my tosses are crazy and my light ones are still like not the most optimal for a backboard dunk. But you can make it optimal if you're just trying to get a backboard dunk, dunk off the glass to get started. You could throw it a little lighter, a little higher, and it'll just come right off by the rim. All right, so now I think this is one more light one. This might be the best one that's a little light. I'll play that one more time. It's I know it's lagging. So again, same kind of form, same timing of my jump, but this I think I jumped a little sooner. So I have like almost no extension, almost perfect timing. Pretty good. It's when I say pretty good, it's a good for me, but like I'm saying if you can't if you don't have that much room to be able to catch it and cock it back I'll even a little bit cuz that's how I started. Uh, I'm already jumping a little higher than I need to be to do a backboard dunk, but if you're just at the point where you could just barely backboard dunk, you could jump a little, just throw it off a little lighter. Like I try to throw it light, but it still comes off, but you could try to throw it a little bit of an upward thing so it kind of barely goes, jump a little sooner. But this one's almost perfect. So you just need a little room to spare. That's why I think it's a great dunk to do after you get your first dunk, just because you stay upright. It forces you to jump up. You don't have time to really gather. You have to jump quick because it's coming off backwards. And then it puts it right up there for you. And then that's about it. So. I think that's pretty much it about the the basic backboards, the light backboards, and that one is like very little extension and pretty close to the rim. Just put it down. I hope that's pretty good for the basics. It's hard because I don't have a good example of me doing a very, very basic one. But I, oh, here's one more basic one. This one was 10-2, but I'm jumping hard on this one. So as you see, I'm jumping right as it comes off the glass. My timing is really good but it's coming off with a little bit of force so it makes me come reach back for it a little bit and then just that's pretty much it. So there's not much extension on these yet. Uh, the timing is the most important. You could even throw it like really soft so it just comes right off the rim and if you come for more of an angle then when you throw it, it won't come off this way far from the rim. It'll, it'll go more to the side but then that way it won't be so far from the rim and you don't have to extend. You could just catch and put it in. So. These are my light ones. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to find a light one. Like I said, okay, I like my my reaction at the end, like whatever. And this is another light one. Okay, so this is kind of like in the middle. This is where I uh, throw it a little harder. I'm trying to get myself going. Still same timing. I'm always about jumping right here, so that way when I'm at my peak, it's right above me. And this one has a little more extension, so you see the force of it coming off the backboard is causing me to extend a little bit. And it's like it's hard to just catch it and push it forwards. That's why the light tosses are less extension. Same timing about, but you don't have as much crazy extension. So the backboard almost forces me to extend. That's why I really like them because I just have to throw that thing and go get it. And it almost like forces me to extend, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm doing a good job explaining how to do this dunk yet, but we'll see. So comes off. I catch it right at its peak, at my peak. I'm still going up a little bit, but a little bit of extension. And then I finish. So again, you want to throw it when you're, so you throw it, take a step, and then it's my plant. I'm already going into my plant. 
So I take like, I'm throwing it on my right foot always, take one step and then I'm into my gather, if that makes sense. And then I'm jumping as it's coming off the glass already. And now we get to the good stuff, my, some of my better ones. And right from this little screenshot already, you already see I'm like getting into my gather and it hasn't even come towards the glass yet. So same thing, throw it, take one big left step, then I'm already into my gather as it's coming off glass, I'm jumping, and I'm catching it, and it's coming off fast. Like I threw this one fast, if you watch. I know it's laggy, but son of a gun. I, gotta, I guess my computer can't really handle the screen recording, but it's coming off, just watch the ball. It's coming off the glass at a line drive, so it's coming off a lot more forceful than the other ones. Now, if I was jumping the same speed with a lighter toss, it would have just been a less extended backboard dunk. But the timing is the most important, and that's the hardest thing. As you're jumping higher and you're throwing it, you have to jump faster. So I'm running faster and throwing the ball faster. So just try to, I think most of the time, when if you're able to windmill dunk, or you're, if you're like at the level where you want like a big backward dunk like you're trying to do, like next level, you're going to want to try to throw it a little harder off the glass because... When it comes, when you throw it slow and you're trying to run towards the backboard, it's going to come off slow and it's going to throw everything off a little bit. There's a video where me and Isaiah are at UCF and he's doing right left and I'm kind of helping him with right left and you can kind of see his progression that session where he throws it harder and harder off the glass. The point is also is when you throw it off the glass and it's coming off harder, you have to jump to react to the ball. You don't really have time. You don't really have time to even like get down low and try to go for it. You just have to like react. That's why I really like them and that's like why the faster tosses help me jump better also. Like I got better at the harder backboard tosses than the basic ones. And even like right now when I jump higher, when I throw a bad backboard toss, I jump worse. Just because the fast backboard tosses come off quick, I have to jump quick, I'm looking up, I'm staying upright and it helps me jump better. Bang. Bang a ring. Yeah, so basically jump, same timing, catch it, and then just, I just focus on, I just focus, I literally just focus on throwing the, the ball in the right placement, I didn't really talk about that yet, but I come from this angle, I'm right left, so I throw it like just to the right of the square, and it comes off basically right down the middle, and so I'm jumping, if this is, I don't know if this is helpful, let's see. So uh, when I'm looking at it, I'm coming from a little bit of an angle and I throw it and then by the time I jump, it's, it's a little bit to my right, but then it's coming like right at me and I just, just catch it. So I just go right up for it and it's right here. It's, I don't feel like I'm doing a great job, but if you look at it here, it's a little bit to the right of the square and it's off an angle. You could see it kind of angled. And then I'm jumping straight in the front of the rim and it's right at the front of the rim, but then the force brings it back. And all I think about is throwing it in the right place with the right amount of speed, usually pretty hard just because I want it to come off and I want extension. And then I just focus on catching it and finishing. I'm not even worried about the extension. The extension just happens. So there are times where if you throw a light toss and you have a good amount of hops and you want to do extension, you can, if it's a light toss, this forces me to do the extension, but if you do a light toss, you can catch it, have time to bring it back, and then do it. But that's not what I'm doing. I'm not really catching it and bringing it back. I'm just trying to catch it, and the force of the ball is making me do the extension, if that helps. I hope this is insightful from the backboard master. Okay, so now we're on to the latest and greatest of my backboard attempts. Uh, I was feeling it this day. This was my first backboard attempt. Same timing. Ball came off good. Oh, this is a light one. This is like a warm-up one. So back to the warm-ups. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm kind of like throwing a little bit more of an arc. It's not coming off the backboard as speedy as the last one. And I'm catching it, and I had to bring it up. That's kind of why I missed. I'm still warming up in this clip, but if I would have jumped a little better or thrown it a little bit higher, I might have been not had to bring it up over the rim. But this is kind of what you want to do anyway, just when you're trying to do a basic backboard dunk. But as you can see... There is some room to improve to make an optimal backboard dunk, and that's that. So I missed, but you can see the timing is there. Just the placement of the ball might be a little bit too low. I could have thrown a little bit higher just so you could maybe on an upward angle a little bit more so it doesn't come down. It's under the rim when I catch it. 
And then there's this baby right here. I don't even think I timed it that great, but the, look how low the ball is. The ball is not that high, but since I'm throwing it in on, on an, so hard towards the backboard, it's coming directly off like a line drive. And then I'm catching it not even that far from the rim, but the extent, I almost lost it here. My fingertips grabbed it. But the, the velocity of the ball coming at me caused all the extension and I was able to hold on to it and I had enough height while I was still going up to backboard it. I mean to back rim it. So that was a good one, but at the same time, I still didn't really time it that great. A lot of these are, I'm jumping a tad late just because, well, maybe not. It's just that I'm not jumping that high. Like if you want, you could jump a little bit even sooner, not even sooner, I think it's okay. But if this was like a lower rim, I would have destroyed it. But let's see the next one. Same rim, same thing. Just trying to crush it again. I think this one was... See, this toss was a little low. Even though it came a line drive, it's not even above the rim right here. It's like rim level. So it's coming down already. So I think if I were to throw it a little higher and jump... To... I'm jumping pretty close too. I think that was also my problem. But I still jumped pretty well, so I was able to get the ball up. But look how low I'm catching the ball. I'm learning too from doing this. And I back and I miss it. But I had a lot of room to spare. And the point of this one is that I'm throwing it really hard off the glass to be able to get this like extension. Let's go to the next one. So this one you can see is a little bit higher already, just in that little clip. Probably my best one. And I did, this was my best one. And you might think I made that dunk based on that clip, but. It popped out. So, that could happen too. Everything could go right and you miss. Seemed to happen a lot this session. So, this one was pretty perfect. As you can see, I kind of placed it even more right. Like that was almost like directly in the center of the square on the side of the backboard. But that's not really intentional. It's just kind of anywhere to the right of the square. It comes off at an angle. But I think with this one, I jumped better. And the ball was like the perfect height. It's above the rim. And I timed it really well. And it came off. And it looks pretty good there. And then I should have banged it. I even had my whole friggin' wrist in there. I wish it would play without lag. So yeah, it's it was pretty good. And I should have banged it. But I think that was probably the most perfect one of this video so far. Um, yeah. So a lot of these I look like I'm taking off too close a little bit. Which could be... Uh, that also makes me extend because I'm like too close, I'm like reaching. But um, that's another thing too, is a lot of times before I was taking off too close. Now I think this is kind of the sweet spot because I know how to like jump with it. But um, kind of try to uh, try out what you feel is best. And I think this is a little too close, but it's also at the same time pretty good. Like if I would have jumped, I'm trying to get extension, so I'm jumping like pretty close so it comes off. I'm not really trying to get extension, but like it's just where I'm jumping to because it was a 10 foot rim and I'm used to banging them on like lower ones because I suck. But yeah, so just mainly the timing of the backboard and when it comes off is the main thing you want to look at. So try to record yourself, throw it off the backboard, see when you jump and when you catch it. Because if I would have thrown it softer and caught it right here on my way up, there would have been no extension. It would have been just like a like a lob dunk or a dribble dunk. So if you can mimic the timing of when your ball your hand is on the ball by the rim to from a backboard dunk to a lob dunk or a dribble dunk, that's your optimal backboard dunk. And the point is it's achievable if you throw the right ball, like with the right amount of speed, the right angle, and you jump at the right time. Timing the jump with the when it comes off the glass is probably the hardest part. And you can really get a good backboard dunk. I missed all of them? Okay, so yeah. Let's see what's wrong with this one. So again, this one's coming off pretty low. But, and it has velocity, so it's like making me extend. So these are not the best examples. But the point is, I'm going a little extra on these ones. I'm trying to get the extension. I'm just throwing it hard and like letting it pull me back. But... That's what you need to think about when you're progressing. So at first, throw it a little lighter, but when you throw it lighter, still try to jump hard. So you might want to throw it up from further, so you kind of have to catch up and go get it. And I hope this is helpful. 
I don't know if it was. <sighs> uh, do I need to go back to the other ones? So if we want to just come full circle and look back at the warm-up ones that I had, these might be better for you if you're just learning how to do them. But like this one was a little low, but if I were to throw it a little bit more of an angle so it came off a little bit less of a far from the rim, the timing is there, just a little bit too low. I could have jumped a little bit sooner. As you see, I'm jumping as it's kind of coming down. So if I want to throw it a little bit lighter, so it barely kisses the glass, but I can jump as it's touching the glass, I can jump and I could have jumped like right now instead of like, I could have been at this point of my jump back here. So that way when I jump and the ball is right there, I could catch it and just put it in. But instead it's coming, 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 and then I'm catching it. Then I'm trying to bring it up and doing that. So if you're just starting out, try throwing a light toss. See, I kind of threw an underhand, like really lobby toss, like very arky, but it took me too long to jump. So I think this is probably the best example of what you want to do. But even this, I threw a little bit too hard, so it came off far from the rim and I'm, I'm still a little bit back. So throw it even a little bit higher, so it just kisses the glass and kind of just like, uh, comes off almost like a layup, but just in front of the rim. So you would throw it, but then my timing is good on this one but I would just normally just jump up and it's, if the ball, the timing is really good, but the ball should be up here, like right here. So I'm just jumping and I would reach, 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 instead of reaching back like I'm doing, letting it, ca catching it there, I could reach up and the ball would be like right here and then I'd put it in. I could do a part two of this if this was not helpful, but I hope it was helpful. I can do a windmill next and between the legs I hope this screen sharing, vlog sharing, space sharing type thing is helpful. I really think it's a great way to, for me to kind of go through some clips, show you the technique I'm thinking about. Right now I'm thinking about if there's anything I'm thinking about that I need to explain about this dunk. Um, I think I covered it, but let me know what you think. I'm really curious. I really hope this is helpful. Uh, I'll, also an well, I'll also answer any questions you have in the comments as usual, but yeah. Uh, so to summarize, um, if you're just beginning out, throw it light, but focus on the timing, try to record yourself, try to catch it right when it comes off the glass. Cause you may think it has to come off the class, come off the glass and then you jump, but it comes off quick. It's a, it bounces quick. Even if you throw a light toss, it still comes off quick and it, it falls quick as you see. So throw it light, but jump as it's bouncing off the glass or even a little sooner. I think the sooner, the better because you're up there and you get it. Um, and then when you're starting to throw hard, harder tosses, definitely jump sooner than you think. A lot of times I see people and they're throwing it and they're waiting for it to come off to go jump, but then by the time they go jump, it's, it's past them. So I think that kind of sums up my point to make it a more visual or at least make sense in your head. So when you're throwing it harder, you're gonna, I'm already thinking about jumping. It's a little bit more mentally challenging than when you visually see it because it looks like it's easy to time, but when you're throwing it, you're th you're thinking you need to jump after it comes off the glass, but the truth is you gotta think about jumping the plant before you even see it come off the glass. And that's what you don't see here. It looks like I'm jumping when it comes off the glass, but I'm really like already planting to jump before it even gets off the glass. So I'm jumping like before it gets off the glass and taking off as it's coming off. So it's definitely earlier than you think. I hope that makes sense, but I think that's it. Let's friggin' yam, right? Throw that thing off hard, go get it, practice on a low rim and bang them out. Don't play, more coming.